Since the release of Season 13, they've added a new ship called the Burning Blade. We played on this ship for 10 hours yesterday, and since there was a lot of questions asked about uh, how to play it and where everything is, I decided to make a quick video to help you guys out. The Burning Blade is a world event that you can identify by seeing this glow in the sky, or you can also see the ship on the map here. If it already has a Reaper Emissary, it means that it's claimed by a player already. To obtain the Burning Blade, it's really simple. Just sink the ship, head to the captain's quarters, and you can pledge your crew to the ship. This will scuttle your old ship, and all the supplies you had will drop in the water, and then you'll have control of the Burning Blade, and you can harpoon everything back. I would recommend using a sword to kill all the skeletons downstairs. They spawn pretty fast, they repair very fast, and the ship sinks pretty slow. The Burning Blade has a total of 10 cannons, 5 on each side, 4 on the top deck, and 2 by the wheel. Once the Burning Blade is in your possession, the entire Skelly crew will work for you as well. They shoot for you, they repair, and they fight for you. The ship has a total of 4 cannon barrels, which can be found on the top deck and at the front. This is also where you'll find the ammo box. The food barrels and wood barrels can be found in the middle deck and lower deck. The ship comes with quite a bit of supplies. Here are all the cannons, wood, and food that you were given. Everything on a normal ship can also be found here. The vanity and clothing chest will be at the middle of the middle deck and the equipment and pet chest at the back of the middle deck. The water barrel will be found at the start of the middle deck and this is where you'll also find the cooking stove as well as four beds, two on the middle deck and two on the bottom deck. You can find the map table at the very top at the back and obviously the wheel is here and the most cool thing about this ship, the Ashen Roar lever which shoots fire out the front. Here's a clip of uh, us using it on an opponent. I think it's about to happen. <laughs> yeah, shoot now, shoot now. Shoot, 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 shoot. It hit, it hit, it hit big. <laughs> he said, oh, <laughs> they're dead. <laughs> the ship is completely invulnerable to fire bombs and skelly bombs and what's really interesting is the anchor is only a sloop anchor so you can actually raise it very quick and i'm pretty sure they made this because you probably won't be playing with a full crew of four all the time but this makes it very easy to unanchor your ship and keep moving the harpoons can be found at the front as usual. There is a total of four ladders on the ship, two on each side. And because we're galleon players, you know we had to find out all the little tricks and things you could do on the ship. So here's a little snippet of the little movement you can do. There's a pixel right here that you can jump on, but be careful because if you go to the back, there's a barrier that blocks you. You can go both ways though. Unfortunately, the flares are default and you are unable to change any of the cosmetics on the ship. This ship is huge. This is the captain's quarters. You can run all around it. There's got a huge balcony and there is also a commendation that you can pick up over here. So make sure to read this book. It is possible to great bucket. There are two ways you can do it. You can jump over the side gap here or you can just do it normally like I prefer, which is throwing like this. We were never fully open, so I'm not entirely sure about this, but I believe there's seven holes on the middle right side, three holes on the back, and then nine holes on the middle left, which adds up to 20 holes mid deck. And then for bottom, there's seven on the right side, two on the front, and six on the left. I actually completely forgot to mention that loot spawns at the bottom of the burning blade. If there is no loot here, it's most likely someone has already stolen it. Oh, and you can also attach two rowboats to the burning blade. Final thing, when you vote the orb down and drop the burning blade, the ship will despawn instantly, and then all of your items on the ship will just drop into the water, as you can see here. I hope that this guide helped you, and I didn't miss out on any important information. It is my first time making this sort of video, so if you have any questions or anything that I missed out, just feel free to let me know in the comments, and I'll respond as fast as possible. If you ever want to watch me live, I'm always streaming on Twitch and YouTube, and sometimes on Kick. I'll leave everything in the description. Good luck on the seas, and enjoy it. Wait, that's right now a bit hard for us. My, I boarded them. They dropped their rank. Oh, oh my god, what, what happened? Oh my god, what the wait, wait, wait. I'm free! I'm free! <laughs> <laughs> wait, I'm, I'm back on the ship, I'm back on the ship. On our ship. Yo, 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 we yeah, yeah, I see! Come fuck it, come fuck it, come fuck it! No! <laughs> what? What happened? <laughs>